African, you are Nigerian, Igbo, mm -hmm. right? Yes, um, and I, I think of the world globally. I call us the global majority. I don't get caught up in, you know, separation because I think that that's not productive. Mm. Um, how important is that too? So, so Black Panther, another, you know, very Afrocentric film, uh, best picture, didn't win. Uh, were, you, were you upset that you didn't get a, a role? Did you apply? Did you want to be in Black Panther? I'm always curious <laughs> as an African. Yeah. Did you want to be in Black Panther, Chiwetel? I mean, I was already part of the that that universe, the, the MCU. So um, I think it would have been complicated to be in Doctor Strange and Black Panther. So, but outside of that, okay, you know, I see, it, I it, see, you, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I forgot but, that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but outside but of you're that, an actor, you, know, you could have put a thing in your lip and been like, yeah, you know, <laughs> okay. bark this up. Have a limp and a parrot, yeah. and yeah, then there you uh, go. you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you know, I mean, obviously, I was thrilled by Black Panther, and I and I loved it as a film. And um, and I loved its message, you know, that I that I thought that it was really it was really strong, and it's a real arrival and a sort of undeniable arrival of a different way of looking at movies, a different way of looking at blockbuster movies, but also of thinking about intimate movies and independent film, and and, and thinking about the continent as well, the African continent and the African diaspora, and uh, and the stories and the richness of stories that can be told within. It. Yeah, and that you can make history in a cast of all black people. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. like people go see it, even in China, because <laughs> yeah. if it's good, it's good. Yeah. Uh, people um, um, harass you a little bit online because of your accent. I know Forrest Whitaker got um, trashed a little bit. You're native of London. Yeah, um, yeah. You're not from this area. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm you got, not you from, got a clap not from, back? Not from uh, about your accent? <laughs> what did you have to do to work on your Malawian accent? Yeah, Chichewa is you know it's a, it's a language and it's uh, and so the accent is very very specific and obviously me coming in and a few of the other cast coming in and learning the language you know um, was a, a, a challenge uh, and we and we cast a lot you of people. You were speaking the actual language because yeah. there's subtitles too. People you got to read. Um, yeah. You got to know how to read to yeah. watch this. Uh, yeah, we were speaking Chichewa and um, and that was amazing to learn Chichewa. And I did that with some of the other cast members, but I also cast a lot of people who are from Malawi and speak Chichewa. So there was a real great combination uh, of of people. But I was very aware that we were never going to get the you know in, in that sort of time you know the accent absolutely one hundred. What period perfect. of time did you have? Uh, to learn well, this? I I started probably about proper to learn Chichewa. I was starting about six months before going okay. out there and um, just once I'd got the script absolutely settled and then other people who were coming in maybe had a few a few months wow. you know. so yeah we were going to get the language and we worked incredibly hard on the language and to get that language out into a kind of global platform and to show a very beautiful language and so that was important to all of us to keep that sort of authenticity with the awareness that it was never going to be perfect for the native speakers my hope was that you know the people in Malawi will see we'll that appreciate we appreciate that you tried that we pushed as much as we could <laughs> right. within that and cast as much as we could. Within, Everyone's within a critic. Yeah, y'all just be happy, please, because the man did a great job on this film. <laughs> the boy who harnessed the wind. It sounded authentic to me. How much weight did you lose? Uh, I lost. I lost a bit of weight. Yeah, because you know, obviously yeah, they were I could going see. through I that, mean, that, you actually that method acted your way through. <laughs> I was like, oh, he really went there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that he was, looked very gaunt. That was important. At yeah, the end. To, yeah. yeah. So um, you know, to really try to capture the, what that what that struggle was what the struggle was for for that community and uh, and what William was fighting against you know in that in that sense to help his community the the young boy that was cast um as William my god is he bro is what, what tell me about him so Maxwell Simba is uh he's Kenyan and he um you know we did I worked with Alexa Fogel the brilliant casting director uh, on the film and so she had some contacts in different countries on the continent and so we were in a lot of schools auditioning young people we were doing you know everything that we could to find this obviously the central part of the story and out of that process came Maxwell Simba who is um uh, just a brilliant oh young God. actor. And he, he, so he's professional. He wasn't like some kid you just found. No, he has oh ne gosh, he's never worked on, on film before. Okay. He's never worked in... in so he's any, as incredible as I... He, he yes. is absolutely amazing. And he uh, he done uh, two plays in, in high school. And so... Um, but from the first time that I saw his very first audition tape, he just was able to make um, these very sophisticated choices that he makes. He's a very intelligent guy, but he's also very emotionally intelligent and uh, is able to, you know tell these to, to make choices that are very specific that are very nuanced and and uh, detailed and in, un in a wonderful the unspoken way. in the eyes 
to communicate. Exactly. I mean, it's and just that's very powerful. difficult. That's very difficult to do. It took me, yeah. by the way, a long time to work out how to do some of the things that he is is doing in this film about how to be minimal, how to have the confidence to do very little, but know that you're communicating a lot through the lens of the camera mm. is very, you know, it's it's hard. It's hard to do. Uh, he's brilliant. So finally, your your biggest role probably that you'll ever play as Scar in uh, the Lion King. <laughs> yeah. It's come- Nothing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm very. Ex- I'm very. Ex- yes, uh, I'm you very have to say ex- these things. I'm okay. I'm very excited. About it. <laughs> Yay! I'm I very, can't wait. Very excited. Um, but uh, I, I, as I was watching this, and I've been watching you in a number of things. Um, the the scars that you bear on your face, uh-huh. um, came in a car accident where you lost your dad, yeah. and I wonder what foundation that they gave you to do some of the things you're doing. How has that informed? the trajectory of where you are now well i suppose in a way in a kind of the wider way of um of having of going through a traumatic experience when you were very young and i was 11 years old and and that kind of um understanding of realizing the complications of of the world the, the difficulties and the challenges that you can face and having to kind of grow up uh, very quickly in that way um is was very interesting in terms of then moving into the arts and into how you interpret how you deal with with life you know and so through art through literature you know through that kind of understanding through performance even you know of really trying to get in tune with some of the complications of of being alive and and of engaging in in an artistic world and that easing or allowing to sort of an avenue a conduit to understand the world in a slightly different way uh, in its in all of its complications its beauty and its tragedy you know did it make you fearless it didn't make me fearless i think it made me kind of want to really appreciate things more you know mm. to really sort of understand to 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 wring everything you can out of out of the experience out of life itself you know because it is it can be brief it can be shocking it can be difficult you know it can be challenging but really to kind of engage with all with all the moments that you have you're a lovely person. Thank you. In the short time you had with your parents, they should be awesomely proud. She would tell. Edge of four. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Brother. All right. It's the Karen Hunter Show. We'll be right back. <laughs> 